Suspended Congress legislator from West Shillong, Mohindra Rapsang, will be joining the National People's Party or the NPP next week. Addressing the media in Shillong, Rapsang said he was hurt with the way the Congress Party has treated him and the other suspended MLAs. Yet to join the NPP. As of now, I'm a, still a Congress legislator. But I'm not going to contest from the Congress anymore because I'm under suspension. Then in my own, by next, another 10 days, I'll be resigning from the uh, Congress. Congress. I'll be resigning as an MLA also. Then I'm going to join a new party and then I'm sure that I'm joining MPP. In any election, okay. it's the people. Yes, I cannot win election alone. Yes, Taking the confidence of the people hmm. to join any party, that's why I've decided after consulting with all my voters, of all my party workers, that's why I'm joining MPP. So they give me a green signal. They said, wherever party you're choosing, we are there with you. So then I choose NPP. They agree to it. Then I am happy with it. Furthermore, Rob Sang added, NPP chief and chief minister Conrad Sangma is a young and enthusiastic leader and it would be better to work with NPP for the interest of the people. We'll have to see in all respect. Number one is to see the development of the people, the need of the people. Number two, we have to see the development of the constituency as a whole. We have to see the people who are really in need my help. During, like what you mentioned about Corona time, we are the first the first constituency to distribute food grains to the people at the time of crisis. So we have been continuing with that work for almost two years during the Corona time. So after the corona has subsided, then people are really suffering. There are school fees, the health care. We are, as much as, as capacity of an MLA, I'm taking care of it. Three urban health centers in my constituency. All these three health centers are upgraded, upgraded. I used to go and inspect this health center from time to time. A lot of programs for the people, a lot of programs for the poor, a lot of programs for the farmers. A lot of program for the sports person, a lot of program for the youth, a lot of program for the skill development. So we have high hopes for that. In the next election to come, the next year, where, where the majority of the NPP will come, we'll see the change in Meghalaya. We'll see that Meghalaya is coming to the top 10 in the country with the dynamic leadership of Konrad Sama.